this in front of you go? Well, first of all, you put your tree up before Thanksgiving. Then you celebrate with a lighting party, a tree lighting party. A lot of uh, local businesses, including our condos, the Ciudadelas, have a tree lighting party. Uh, a food truck place near us, Lote 23, um, like lot 23, um, <laughs> has a tree lighting party. I think there's probably already happened. Um, and at the tree lighting party, like a lot of the schools have tree lighting parties. Um, the tree lighting parties are really fun. They have people dancing on stilts. They have uh, people with these big head masks on. And a lot of times like the women with the big heads will have like this uh, like fake booty on. And so when she's like dancing around, it's like jiggling and um, and if you have small children, I'd say like, actually my child got picked up last year. I was so surprised because I thought he was too big. I would say usually they do it to only kids that are younger than three or four, but my child was five and he got picked up by one of the stilt dancers. So I was a little nervous. Um, Cause yeah, they just reached down, grabbed him by the arms, pulled him all the way up, and we're just holding him and dancing up there. And he was having a blast. He wasn't scared at all. But they're up pretty high. Um, and then bomba and um, bomba for the holiday parties is a little fancier than um, the usual bomba that you hear if you go to like a bar that has that's playing bomba. Um, like if you go to a restaurant that's playing it, it's very casual, um, whereas it, when you go to like the parties, they're really dressed up. Um, it's like a very uh, classy thing and they have like routines and stuff that they do. Um, and sometimes they have other types of music, like last year Ciudadela did a, um, a Beatles um, themed band. Um, yeah, sometimes they, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just fun. Um, the biggest, most popular beverage here for the holidays is Coquito. Um, so I know right now in the States, uh, rum chata has started getting popular. Rum chata kind of took the idea from this Coquito drink so that's been around, that's been a staple, like a every year thing in Puerto Rico for a very long time because um, yeah coquito is it's rum it's coconut cream I mean there's different recipes um, but yeah basically cream coconut rum cinnamon vanilla um, all those layers together and so yeah it's just it, it's also been described as Puerto Rican eggnog um, but yeah it's basically a, a coconut rum cocktail that is delicious uh, and some people some people make uh they put like uh, tropical fruit flavors in it as well um the big ones here that uh the big tropical juice flavors parcha is passion fruit um guanabana is soursop and um guava um, that's another one. Um, and so yeah, this year actually Ciudadela is adding a, um, a contest, uh, at their, their tree lighting party. So I'm excited about that. But the Christmas holiday in Puerto Rico is just really long. Um, because, you know, you put your tree up before, and I mean, we don't, some people use real trees. But we're in the Caribbean, <laughs> like you're not going to go chop down a tree, um, you're not going to a farm to do it like you would up north and um, actually like a lot of places, I don't know how many places in the states have places like that. But here in Puerto Rico, like we don't really have a lot of, um, like around Halloween we don't have a lot of pumpkins, um, you can kind of joke about doing your Halloween pumpkin with a pineapple, but, um, so yeah, like, we just, we use a fake tree, we've been using a fake Christmas tree for years, so, um, we, we've been kind of used to it, but I guess some people do miss having a real tree, and they, you can get a real tree, it's just, 
there's a lot less of them compared to the fake trees. Um, but if you're gonna have your tree up from mid-November to mid-January, because that's how long Christmas is here, you're better off going with a fake tree. <laughs> um, and so you, everyone keeps their trees and lights up until at least three Kings Day, um, which is in January, I think January 6th next year. Um, but yeah, a lot of people keep stuff up longer than that. Um, like through mid-January. So that's why whenever I hear the Taylor Swift lover song, she says they can leave the Christmas lights up till January. I'm like, everybody in Puerto Rico does that. You're not cute, you're not special. We do that. That is how we celebrate Christmas in Puerto Rico. Oh, and at the beach too. We will go to the, We. it is warm enough to go to the beach Christmas and New Year's. 